hi welcome to my channel my name is Christina thank you guys for watching liking share and subscribing um, I hope you're having an amazing day um, I will have an amazing day I've been going through a lot of work but it's okay so I want to speak to my divine masculines and my divine feminines out here who think you're on your twin flame journey um, and if you're out here watching these YouTube readers or getting readings from anywhere or getting doing readings yourself um, let me just talk to you about some of the cards and what they are when you're getting your readings just so that you know what what is okay I'm sorry I didn't plan on doing it this way but I guess that's how they want me to do it because I've been told that I'm supposed to be doing readings on my channel so I'm gonna do it I'm sorry it's taking me so long give me a second okay. so um Oh gosh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I just want to show you the one of the most important cards in Tara in terms of doing your, you know, your readings for yourself or, and I can't find it. Oh crap, okay. Ugh. Okay. Sure, I just had it. Okay, it's okay. So it'll be this card, but it'll have four wands. Okay, so what is this card representing? This card, um, the one with the four of wands is not a divine union. Okay, the one with the four of wands is imprisonment. Okay, these are cards of imprisonment. Okay, you should never have guards these are basically guards this thing's going on behind your back so if you're on if you're on a divine feminine or a divine masculine journey i've been here before and i've been i've been doing this for a while um and i've i've listened to readers and all kinds of stuff that is a card of something that um lisa renee ascension glass refers to as nesting dolls but it's not it's a, you can also call it black magic okay if you look at the person, why do I keep putting the card up? I'm definitely supposed to be doing readings on my channel. Oh, here it goes. Okay. This is an imprisonment. Okay. This is a imprison. You're in prison. Somebody is doing black magic to you. This is how small you are. Okay. So you become like a nesting doll. Okay. And so you're just going. They're like carrying you. You have no direction. You also have no idea what they're doing behind your back. Okay. This is a big camouflage. Okay. This is a big disguise. There's no such thing. Okay. There's no such thing as the four of wands. You should not be in a four of wands. If you are in a four of wands, you have somebody that is nesting you. That is trying to control your life. That is doing black magic on you. That is doing spells, curses, hexes, vexes, um, all of that type of stuff they are doing this to you so never you watch or you yourself do a reading and you feel like you seeing this card is a good card this is not a good card this is a card of black magic and if you know anything about tarot tarot is something that kind of reveals the mysteries okay it reveals hitting things okay it reveals things that so normally a tarot reading is not going to be bad in a sense, I'm sorry, it's not going to be good in that type of sense. It's going to tell you what's, um, what is truly happening behind your back. This is a card of black magic. There are people that are doing black magic on you. They could have something like a nest, like a doll. Okay, I felt this. They could have like a doll and they're sticking pins in you. That's basically what that is. Or, they're, or they're, they, they have your picture and they're doing... You know, this, 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 this to you and you don't know. You think that you're in the four of wands. No, and it's normally people that know you. Okay, it's normally people that know you that are, that is doing this to you. So you have to be very aware that when you see this card, you know that it is not a good card. That means that people you know, look, this is a family. Family members, friends, loved ones. This is a card of family black magic, friend black magic, co-worker black magic, people black magic, Texas, Texas, curse 
government black magic this is a card of this is not a card of divine love or divine union this is not what that is um more than likely if you're on that journey and you're seeing this card there's something in your family line i know for me black magic um heavily runs in my family and they do black magic against each other and so i was on this journey and i thought i was on a twin flame journey i was never on that's not true um that journey helped me to understand what was going on in my family behind my back this is what this journey really helped me to do um so what and this this has probably been in my family for many lifetimes and this has probably been in your family for many lifetimes what this is is your family putting you in bondage somebody's putting you in bondage when you see this card okay so it's not a card of freedom obviously you're not free okay there's no freedom here okay you're you're bound basically you're bound you're bound you're bound you're bound you really have to understand what is happening here i mean it took me a while to really um i kept like trying to act you know i was trying i was doing, i do so many things that um and i didn't think that i was really going to get back into tarot because i had left that journey and i had basically started a whole new thing but they tried to bring it back so then i had to start doing it again and so now i will definitely be teaching about tarot cards and how do you do readings on yourself um so like i was saying for my journey um my family had casted a lot of spells on me paid a lot of people to do black magic on me um You know, I come from one of those family lines. You know, I do. Like, I come from one of those family lines, you know. Um, but now I'm, I'm kind of like, kind of have mastered that in a way. Um, I don't, I can brag. I mean, I can brag. I mean, look at me. I can brag. Because of what was attempted to happen to me, I have learned to master it. Now I'm going to be teaching people about what these things are and possibly helping you to develop systems. And knowledge and then maybe you can also help others as well so one more thing to know that these are zodiac cards okay these are zodiac cards okay this could also mean that um, these are the four of wands so this could also mean that there's a fire sign involved that is doing the black magic okay it could also mean that the person that is trying to keep you in bondage is a fire sign could be a leo aries or a sag as well that just came to me i don't know um could also mean that as well could also be a fire sign or the person could have went and paid a fire sign to do this to you so you have to be very aware um of everything so this is why I will be teaching you guys, you know, I, I, I will be explaining or just talking about it. I will just be talking about what these cards mean. So you definitely do have to be careful about things, you know, going back to your divine masculine and your divine feminine. You know, going back to your divine feminine and your divine masculine. There are many realms. And all of the realms and all of the zodiacs do have to do with um, each other. So that being said, black magic comes from somewhere. Where does black magic come from? If you look into astrology, um, and if you know anything about astrology, you know that Saturn, we think of Saturn as the devil, or we see Saturn as bondage. So, so you know that this has something to do with Saturn. Okay, because a lot of bondage, a lot of bondage does come from Saturn. And what happens is when you or someone you know has had black magic placed on them or done to them they've been placed in a container okay they've been placed into a container so their life is kind of being monitored their life is being monitored they're in a container they're being siphoned they're being stifled and they're being harvested don't if i do it this way that kind of does look like um you know you put a pig here and then you roast them that's how that's basically what it is. Um, you're being harvested, okay? If you have, um, if you are, you know, somebody that has been, that has had black magic done to them, there is, there are grids. And what a grid is, a grid is a holding system that holds a structure in place. A grid holds a structure in place. So these black magicians have grids 
and so they have souls attached to the spirit they have um, family lines blood lines ancestral lines friends family co-workers love for ancients of ancients of time and so these people are attached to that grid and so every time something happens to a person that uh, let's say had black magic on them and they didn't know and they died that blood goes there and that person is now harvested that person is is passed away but is now stuck there okay so they never get a chance to ascend um, they never get a chance to fulfill their life. Their soul is there. Their soul is being harvested. And so they try to keep that pattern going. And so they have this big holding cell. It's like um, it's like a holding. I don't, uh, it's like a holding cell. You know, if you have a bank account, you go put money in there. That's basically what they do. You know, people go pay these people and, um, you know, people go pay these people or these black magicians and black witches and so forth and so on and Santa Maria and Voodoo and Obia and blah, blah, blah. And they go pay these people and they exchange energy. And so what they do is they place the money in exchange to this person. And then they place you, your item, your picture, whatever, inside of this container. And they get kind of guarantee that, you know, this person is going to stay in this container with us. And we know how to make things happen to this person. Or we know how to make things not happen for this person. So sometimes you can be feeling restricted or... Um, Sometimes you can be feeling like, why am I not getting anywhere in life? Why am I this? Why am I that? Why, why, why? Every time you say why, sometimes it could be possibly dealing with black magic grids and somebody has casted spells on you or somebody has done something to you and you have no clue. So that's basically what this is. It could have a fire sign involved. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but, it, but the four of wands is, is a container. So you're in like this container. And what happens is you've been placed in like a black magic container. Sometimes you see people and they look weird. I don't know if you can see things, but I've I see all kinds of things and they look people look weird. And not that they look weird, but I can see structures. Like I can see structures. Like I can see my room. I'm looking at you, but I can see what's going on in my room. I can see who's here, who's not here. I can see everything. I can feel it. I can see it. Um you know. Um, so sometimes if you you know, if you're awakened and if you're doing grid work and if you're doing these things and if you, you have the gift and if your guardians are using you in that capacity, I know they heavily are talking to me about doing this um, because I'm getting information about what these cards mean even more in detail, um, then you will absolutely um, be able to see structure. Sometimes I see things on people and I'm like, oh my God, you know, they're carrying this big O tank on them. And so one, that could mean that, oh, that person is guaranteed to go in that tank at certain age um that person is guaranteed to be the person and so you know what happens in this tank is that um in these tanks you have incidents okay incident one happened to this person incident two happened to this person so if you're attached to that tank you can have any number of those incidents happen to you and they just keep doing the same thing and same thing and same thing this is why sometimes you see highways um you see on certain highways the same place the same time the same year the same 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 accident kind of happens that's basically they're harvesting that place they have harvesting that place and so souls get harvested there and so they grid and they map you this is why we you know this is why we do grid work this is why i do grid work is because these are points and what they do is we're kind of battling for them you know we're battling for these points because also these points have significant meanings like i've been i've been definitely having dealing with the 911 because I was actually um around and it was very close to me what happens in 911 um if and if you're not familiar with the twin towers um I keep hearing the twin towers so that affects the energy field if you don't know and so what happens is that big and that site is like a harvesting site for souls so all of those souls kind of are trapped I've talked about this before and so what happens is they can do the same thing there um, or they can use that site to create more of the same uh, catastrophes if we don't know. Um, and so this is what we're doing. And if we understand that we're everything, if we understand that we are everything, we are the earth, the water, the fire, and the air, you understand that when a building that is rooted and built into the ground gets blown up, we get blown up. Even though we weren't necessarily the ones that actually got blown up at that time, we do experience it in our in our light in our light field, in our intelligence field. Um, we have layers of intelligence, and if you can understand that what happens, these incidents and these accidents that happen, um, they do affect us. So that being said, that is definitely a card you want to look out for, Black Magic. Um, 
You want to make sure that you never see this card in a reading either. This is a cube. These are what I've been talking about. Okay, these are what I've been talking about. These are not good cubes. If you ever feel like you can't breathe, or you're going in circles, or you you feel weird, you're like wrapped up in something. See, like this person is very small. You know what this is? This is another container. This is another container. You never want to see this card in a reading. This is another container. They have basically cloaked you in either a black box, reality box, 5G beam. You see like how I'm, stand, I'm expansive? You can see. Um, well, you probably can't see yet, but you'll understand. You'll see like now when you're seeing, now when now that I'm showing you and I'm, I'm telling you these things, now that when you see them in the world, you can identify them. Um... So, right, so these are cubes. This could be the bla black cube. The black cube is normally the Saturn black cube that I was just talking to you about. Saturn is known as the devil, is known as bondage. Okay, it's Saturn is known as bondage. So, this could also be, even though this is not the Saturn card, this could also be um, the Saturn cube. There is a cube placed on Saturn that is very inorganic to us. And so sometimes when we transit Saturn, or if, you, if you're if you doing grid work, you're constantly engaging with Saturn because Saturn is the house of black magic. Saturn houses the black magic. Saturn houses religion. Saturn is the Saturn is the hub central for false ascension matrix. Either it is the hub for false ascension matrix, broadcasting, false twin flame, false divine counterparts, false, 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 false. It is the false stuff. It is nonsense um it is false so this could be the saturn cube there's also a cube on um there's not a cube on mars there's a triangle on mars which i've been dealing with a lot lately because of because i know but this could also be the cube there's a cube in the moon okay there's a moon cube and if you know anything about the moon and if you've been following me then you know that the cubes in the moon are inorganic to us it's also kind of like black magic to be perfectly honest with you it or it emits and transmits information and signals and energies in the quantum field that are false. Um, it can also be um, a place of false ascension matrix too. The moon is known as the false ascension matrix. So you definitely don't want to be engaged in the moon in that way. Um, the moon can also be dealing with magic, black magic. So this could also be the moon as well. Um, the moon has a cube. Okay, any type of cube is to keep you confined, to keep you controlled, to keep you in illusions, to keep you confused, to keep you from ascending. So the more you know, the more you can ascend. So that is a cube that you don't want to see. Okay, those are cubes you don't want to see. Okay. Be careful with this as well. And tarot things are not going to be as, um, unless you know, unless you really know what's going on in someone's life. Um, we have to be careful with this kind of um, Because this can be um, family. It doesn't have to be love. It can be a family member also that is kind of incestuous. Okay, so you can't, uh, it, can, it can be many things. It can be a family member. It could be an inappropriate relationship. Okay, so you don't, oh, this card is not always a good card either. These cards aren't always a good card. Okay? So sad. This is a cube. Okay, this is a matrix. This is the entire false ascension matrix. I have seen, I have dealt with this many, many, many times. Okay, the bat, the man with the bat. I've been seeing this bat forever. There are so many secrets that, we, that humanity doesn't know. There's also, um ancient timelines where things have happened and there's those information are stored in Saturn and they continue to uh, replay the, the same program. So let's for an example say that you're in a um, relationship with someone who's the opposite race. Um, let's say the person is white or you're white and they are black or Asian or Chinese or whatever. There are ancient things that have, there are ancient entities that have, that are still in existence ET races, I should say. There's still ET races that exist in the inter-realms and in the other realms 
that do are still aware and are still anti intermarriage, interracial marriages. And so if you feel like, you know, you like this person or they like you or you're interested in each other or you're dating and it can't and it's so much is because there's something ancient that has happened in Saturn and that energy is still here, that grid is still here, those entities are still controlling. So you know, you just have to be very careful of that. So you never want to see this card either. This is that princess card that I was telling you about. Okay. He comes, he rescues you. Okay, he's not supposed to rescue you. Okay, no one is supposed to rescue you. I always tell you, on this is delusional. Where in reality do you ever find somebody get up on a heart, a knight in shining armor, and comes and rescue you? This is a delusion. And so, if you're on your twin flame journey, or if you're on a divine masculine or on a divine feminine journey, and, and they're telling you that you have to be that you have this car, this set, this um, this knight. A knight is never a good thing. A knight is normally trying to rescue you. So you be careful with that. Because when they rescue you, they are not going to treat you right. Okay, that's a program. That's an ET program. That is an ET secret that you don't know about. Um, there's one more that I really want to talk to you about. Just so that you know. This card right here. This card simply needs somebody who knows. Shit. She knows. She's getting information. She knows. This card means nothing else other than that. She knows. Okay? She knows. She knows. This card also means some type of inorganic structure. I'm telling you. This card is also a cube. Okay? This is also like a entity attachment. It's like a program. It's like an attachment to you. Okay? Um, yes, we are telepathic beings. Yes, we, um, we have the ability to communicate telepathically, but there's false and synthetic telepathy too. There are things called head to skull technology where they communicate with you without you knowing it, and then they block your communication with your higher guardians. And so these three of pentacles are normally not a good card. You see it's very dark, right? It's very dark. Not a good card. Okay, it's not a good card. Whenever you see this card, this is never a good card, okay? This is, um... This is some, some normally somebody doing something behind your back that you normally do not know about. Um, this is definitely some type of, um, can definitely be a secret society. Could definitely be black magicians. A lot of these cards, this is what Tower is about. It is about revealing the mysteries to us. Yes, they are hard truths, but they are what they are. These three of pentacles could definitely also be talking about the third, the third chakra. Okay could also be talking about the third chakra as well so just be very aware okay because i just saw the three and i know that the third chakra is normally a hard chakra to definitely deal with um so you definitely want to definitely the third chakra deals with the mind so this could definitely be um mind control going on too like a i see a mask here um so you definitely want to definitely be aware these cards are not normally what they represent when people are doing readings for you so you have to be very careful with that but there's one here that I really, really want to talk to you about. Oh, yeah. Okay, so bear with me. Oh, I don't have it here. Crap. It's okay. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I have other cards. <laughs> I didn't plan on doing the tower cards, but my guardian wanted me to do it, so I'm going to do it. Um, you guys, we got to kind of know what's going on. This, okay. Remember I was talking about we have starships and lightships and ships? This is normally, <laughs> this is normally somebody who is in a ship, um, a starship, a dark ET ship, a um, military ship, a extraterrestrial vehicle okay they're known as extraterrestrial communication um no one is a king of swords those are 
those are either um, vehicles or cubes or technology. Remember, I keep telling you that technology. This could be the 5G beam, okay? So you have to be very careful. Whenever you see the king of swords, or this could be a quantum supercomputer, this, there's many ways, there's many tricks and things I keep trying to tell you guys that. So when you're on these journeys, you have to be very aware of that. So very, be very wise. This is not a good card, okay? This is not a good card either. This is never a good card. This is a machine. This could also be some machine. Remember I told you that the, the planet is has machines in there because the planet has suffered a lot of catastrophe because we've been through a lot of war and they have placed false structures in the, they place false structures in the earth. Hence why we still have gender equality, sexual equality, income inequality, color inequality. This is why, okay, because we have machines here that are still generating these programs and we don't really know about that this could also be armageddon okay this could also be that armageddon oh jesus christ is coming or this is coming or this person is coming that 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 that, that. this is normally danger this is normally danger normally a bad card so remember when i was talking to you about this card this card is going to lead you here okay they do this to make you this to make you poor okay they're doing this to make you poor. It's normally always about money. Whenever people do black magic to you, it's always about this. It's always about black magic, and it's always about I wasn't prepared for this. I'm sorry. Please. And this card. Okay? It's always about the Here we go. These cards all represent the same thing, all go hand in hand. This card is gonna lead you into this four of wands is gonna lead you into this five of pentacles, which is poverty, is gonna lead you into the death. This is the this is the effect they want to have is to kill you. Some area of your life they want to destroy. Um or you know some area of your life they want to destroy so you have that card there so this that that's going to lead you to the ten of swords okay it's going to post you and then you're going to feel very burdened and trapped okay so be very aware these cards this four of wands is going to lead you down this path which is not the path of the falling tree of life okay these four of wands are going to lead you down the path of the falling tree of life so this is the fallen tree of life okay so you just be aware of that okay so these are the mess oh i did i just want to have mention one more thing before i go um blended realities you know you know a lot of these um whoever they are um i used to watch them too until i until i found out until i was you know that was part of my journey too um a lot of these things are telling you your star seeds and this is this and this is that and, and you have people visiting you and that's a blended reality you know what a blended reality is okay so the four of wands can also be a blended reality which you don't want okay you don't want to open those portals you don't want to open those portals to these ets that you have no clue who they are as a matter of fact we do know who some of them are Okay, we do know who some of them are. Some of them are entities that they that they um, call upon to do black magic to you. And so they appear real um, because it's supposed to black magic makes what is fake real and what is real fake. And so you know, they open up these pools and you think that, oh, this these are friendly ETs or this is friendly. Oh, this is my divine masculine or my divine feminine. You know, this is person. This is the curse. This is the blended reality. And it's going to lead you to entrapment and take you off of your true path. Okay, these are dark ETs. This is a false ascension matrix. This is where it's going to come. This is what is going to happen. This is what used to happen to me. And I didn't really understand what was happening to me until I really kind of woken up. And I had to um, kind of take control of it and realize, okay, my guardians are like, these are not real. 
Um, these are not from me. Okay, these are not your these are not your guardian ETs. These are black magicians that exist in other realms as well. So just like I am a star seed, I exist in other realms. Black magicians do exist in other realms. Okay, so you have to be very careful on the screen. Um, if you have any questions, so you definitely don't want to be in a blended reality, okay? So um that those are all of the anomalies that do exist within um within the ascension community. So you have to be very careful. So this is the message I have for you. Please do like, share, and subscribe and thank you for watching.